Hey, what's up everybody? So today's video, I'm going to show you how to use a CNC, the Chapelco is what I'm using, to carve out stars on your homemade flag. Super quick, super easy to do, and if you're wondering why this is so shiny, it's epoxy resin. Let's get this video going. Now there's a couple ways of doing this. You can use a V-bit if you have a flat one piece of wood. This is going to represent our union here. Um, but the issue is if it's not flat and you piece them together like I do with one inch stripes, sometimes they don't always sit flush. So the bit that we're going to use today, and I'll show you how to set up a V-bit, but we're going to use the 112 bit. It's basically a 16th of an inch. And here's the V-bit here. Again, if your wood is not flush, it's not a good idea to use it. I'll explain that later, but this is the bit. I will put a link in the description below for you to take a look at these on Amazon or the Shea Poco site. I just think they're a great all around bit and that's what we will be using today. So let's jump into it. All right, guys. So this probably looks familiar to you. We're in the Car by Create software here. And as always, just let me hit cancel here, show you where we're at. We're gonna go over here to our design area. Not really our design area. This is our design area, but this is where we set up our stock. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have our width and our height. Then we got to go down here to the stock and thickness. And we don't have to worry about the tool path. This is already set up. We're using a softwood, it's pine, and then the retract height. We'll go through all that. So the width and then the height. So as you can see, this is standing up a little bit. And instead of going like this, how we had it on the actual machine itself, I'm going to show you why I have this up like this. The reason I have it up like this is because when you actually have a flag attached to this union, if you're, if you're just doing the union by itself, it's not a big deal. But the flag is not going to fit the whole way across that machine because your cutting width is only about 29 by 29. So that flag is 37 inches long. We're going to have to hang that off the table. So that's why I always carve my unions this way. So it gets a little bit tricky, and I'll show you that here in a second. Um, but so we're going to do width. The width on this, we measured at 9 point, yeah, it was a little bit over 9 and a quarter. So we're going to go uh, 9 point, we'll just go um, 3 zero. And then on the height, what we had was 12 and three quarters, pretty much exact, 12.75. And if you hit okay, you'll see that change out a little bit. So we're gonna go back into that. The stock thickness, now we're gonna go, usually it's a one inch. That's what my boards are. And what's nice about this is you don't have to be exact. You know, it's, it's, it's not to the point that you have to have such detail where that you're going through the wood um, that you need to be exact so we're just going to keep our stock thickness usually it's one inch but this board here that we're doing is um, 0.5 it's a half inch the lower left we're not going to worry about that stock thickness we're going to keep that at the top the retract height here's where it gets a little bit tricky with the retract height the retract height as i mentioned in many other videos that's how far up your router is going to come move over to the next star come down um, because the boards aren't always smooth, right? We'll talk about that here in a bit when I talk about the bits. Oh, wordplay. But we're going to keep that probably, we're going to keep that at five. But if you're using individual boards or stripes, I would go at least six or maybe seven even, just because the boards aren't always perfectly flush with each other. And I'll talk to you about that here in a second. Um, so that's basically what we have to do on this area here, and we're done. We're just going to hit OK, and that's it. So let's move on to the next step. We're going to go get our stars, and then we are going to transfer them transfer them into the Carbide Create. And so now we're off to Google. we got to find these stars. Instead of doing these one by one, we're just going to go find something that's already created, like a template, and we're just going to save it as a, a bitmap, basically, or a um, bit path. So if you look on Google, you'll find a bunch of different stars. All I typed in was U.S. flag stars. You could type in really anything that's close to that. Something will pop up like this. 
I do like this, but you have to be careful because what happens is sometimes things like this will pop up. You can see that those stars are not correct. There might be 50 in there, but they're just not the correct formation. You want something like this where they're spread out, right? Um, so what you would do is you're just going to right click that. You're just going to save that image and then we're going to transfer that into the Inkscape, which is a free software right here. You can download that online. And uh, again, Inkscape, I-N-K. Uh, we're just going to open that up and because I already have one right here, and I believe it's just, it's the same as this down here. We're just going to open that up. We're going to just left click, drag and drop. We'll just hit OK. And you can see it goes right into the Inkscape. It's a really good program. So now it gets pretty simple from here. You just got to make sure you left click on that. You're going to get a pass. You're going to trace bitmap. And you can see brightness cutoff. We're just going to hit update. And you can see it populates it. Hit OK. And that's it. X out of that. Now you can see there's two of these. But you can see this one here is transparent. This is the one we want. This one we don't. So what we'll do is we'll delete this one here. We'll keep this and we'll save it. And basically all to do that is just left click this here, just like so. And uh, you can see it populates. And then we are going to delete. And then we'll just drag this over. For some reason, when I'm out in the garage, my reception is not the best. So you can just drag that, left click, drag it in the middle. And then what we'll do is we're going to hit File, Save As, the stars, which we already have. We'll hit Save. Yes, I'll replace, and that's it. That's all you got to do. So now what you'll do is you'll come over here, and this is back to your car by create. Hit done. We're going to hit this little arrow button down here, and we'll go to desktop. We'll go to CNC designs where we saved it. Left click that, and boom, that's where it's at. So pretty simple to do. And now what we're going to have to do is scale that. Now we already have the stock, right? We already have that set up. So what we got to do is make sure that this has the correct width and height to that board. Make sure it's even and we have to rotate these correct. So we're going to hit done on this. And what I'm going to do is because I always cut downwards, right? Because my board is hanging off. I can't, I can't put my board this way. I got to go vertical with it. Um, I'm going to actually, you know what? Let's select all these because it's not going to save it. And come over to this little symbol and group them. So now if I click on this, they'll all light up. So if I move this one or this one, they all move. So make sure you group them. Just hit that little button there. Okay, so now remember, we're going this way, right? We're going to cut long ways because our board's going to hang off the end. We're going to go vertical. Uh, so what we need to do is rotate these. So I'm just going to left click this. And remember, we hit this button here. We grouped them. So now everything will rotate together. We're going to go over to rotate. We'll see this will pop up right here so what we'll do is we'll just go uh, 90 we'll see what it does and now make sure that when you're doing this your stars are going to be carved correctly um, the star here you want that that star head you see how it's pointing down that's not right you want to point it the other way I don't think this is let me see 90 now we got to go 90 one more time here 90 and now you can see the stars are pointing the correct way so you always want that that star here you want the two feet right down and then the star is always up right that star head that's what i call it um so now we're going to go to size we're going to hit done because we have these going in the correct position and we're going to go right here we're going to click that and the width and then the height so let's do the height because we know that you know the up and down the vertical is 12.75 because that's 12.75 we can't go any bigger than that so we'll just try um let's go 12. I don't know, let's go 12.3, we'll hit apply and see what that does. Now what's nice about this is because you already have the length, right? It, it pretty much, let me get this over a little bit. It pretty much judges where this needs to be width wise anyway, but I think that we can go a little bit bigger than that. So we're gonna click this again. Uh, we're gonna go height, we'll go uh, 12.4, we'll hit apply. Actually, it's uh, that's not bad. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to drag it down. All I'm doing is zooming in by my wheel. And let's just try to bring this up and make that level. So the, the further you zoom in on this, the more you can manipulate it. It doesn't bounce around as much. And I think that looks okay. I think that's good. I think we're pretty much even on all sides. 
and I think we're ready to create our toolpath, which is really simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, basically just left click that. We're going to come over to the toolpath, and this is where it gets fun. So now what we have to do is we're going to left click, and you can see they ungroup for some reason. So let's just do this. Let's go back to design. Let's just group them again and group there you go and they're all grouped again just in case they are where they are it's not a big deal um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here we're gonna hit toolpath and now we're gonna use a specific bit there's a couple different bits you can use you can use a V bit which we talked about earlier and what's nice about the V bit is well I'll show you so let's do the V carve what we're gonna do make sure you're selected we're gonna get a toolpath we're gonna get a V carp here very simple to do um, let's go find our V bit we'll do a um, 301 which is fine uh, everything's pretty much set up for us the only thing that we want to do is make sure our feed rates are changed because the preset feed rates at 15 you're gonna it's gonna take you forever to do this so let's set this up to 50 and then plunge rate will go to um, 20 and the plunge rate again is how fast your your router is going to go up move over come back down so we don't want that real slow we'll just go to 20 we'll hit okay we're gonna hit okay there and now what we can do is we'll go show simulation and it's gonna come up in aluminum we don't want aluminum it always does that first uh, let's change that out we'll go to pine and we'll go to this exit that out and that's basically what this will look like when you are done uh, with your board and that's all fine and dandy that's great if your board is flat but again if you were using multiple pieces of wood you're basically gluing them together they're not going to be flush like this solid piece of board and some of your stars are going to be deeper than others and some will be smaller and larger than others it just does not look good so unless you're doing a solid union stay away from the v-carve so because we're not using the v-carve and even though it looks very cool we're going to delete this and i'm going to show you the bit that i use because i do use the single one inch wide boards and pretty much put them all together so what we're going to do is make sure this is selected. We're going to go to contour. We're going to change our bit. And I like to use a 1 16th of an inch bit. And if you're buying it from the Shapeoko site or the Matter Hacker site, uh, it will be the 112 because anything smaller uh, is going to take too long. And anything larger, it seems like you don't get those nice, sharp, crisp corners they're a little bit more rounded out so we're going to go 112 and if you wanted to look and I'll put a link in the description below for you you can buy these on Amazon pretty much anywhere and they're not cheap um, I mean they're not really expensive I do get a lot of use out of these uh, you're looking at about $12 you can go cheaper if you wanted to but this is the one I like here uh, you can see it's the uh, you can go with the 1 8 inch shank and that's what we're going to be using um, and then the size here, the diameter, uh, diameter, I can't talk today, uh, 1 16th of an inch and basically the same thing, but these are pretty nice and I'll put a link in the description for you to check that out. But I think it's a perfect bit for how we're going to do this now. So we're going to get out of that and we got to go back to our toolpath. So again, we selected all of that. We just hit, okay, we don't want this here. We're just going to cancel. Um, so we're going to change this. We're going to go to edit. We're going to go. 112 because that's a bit we're using depth for pass i think that's a little bit light so we're gonna bump this up to maybe 20. step over is fine the feed rate we're gonna go 75 and then we're gonna go 25 because we don't want this to take all day we're gonna hit okay now the depth um the max depth we don't want it that deep i usually keep this around uh zero eight zero i think that is fine depth per pass we'll go 20. uh let's see we're gonna go pocket because you can see now it's wanting to go around we don't want that we want pocket and now you'll see this actually fill out on the inside just like so we're gonna hit okay very simple to do and when you hit OK you're going to be able to save that G code so let's go show simulation and now this is how deep it'll look and they look pretty good and even if your boards are not uniform 
they're still going to carve those out pretty much basically the same as every other board or every other star. So we're going to hide simulation. And what we're going to do is we're going to save G code. So we will put this here as stars, D A R S. And uh, actually, we'll put stars done just so I don't get this confused with something else. We have our, our width, our length set up, our pocketing is complete. Uh, we're just going to hit save. Yes. And now we're going to bring it over to the actual CNC. All right, all. So we got the setup on the CNC. We uploaded that into the car by motion. And if you're, you know, to the point that you're doing this, you should be familiar with the car by motion. Very simple to just, you know, pretty much basically upload your file and zero it out. Once you zero it out, you run it. And that's what we're going to do right now. So let's turn it on and get her going. That's it guys. All you got to do now is just kind of hit it with a light sandpaper. Blow that stuff out with, a, with an air hose. And that's it. And that's basically how you do stars for your union on your flag. And again, this is a solid piece. You could do a V-carve bit if you wanted to. But if not, you know, if you have the separate pieces where one's higher than the other, you know, you can use that 112 bit or the 1 16th inch bit and it just works awesome. So I hope this helps. If it does, please thumbs up, subscribe for more of these videos. Come over and say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tour Review Zone. We'll be back with more videos soon.